Dinosaur names. The longest known dinosaur name is Micropachycephalosaurus hongtuyanensis. Despite the name, it was a small bipedal herbivore from late Cretaceous China, known for its thickened skull roof. The shortest name belongs to Yi Qi, a small feathered theropod with elongated fingers supporting bat-like membranous wings. It lived during the Jurassic and represents a unique branch of flying dinosaurs. One of the most recently named dinosaurs is Tongnanlong simingensis, a sauropod described in 2021 from China. Its discovery adds to the diversity of Asian long-necked dinosaurs during the early Cretaceous. Fossil locations. Dinosaur fossils have been found on every continent, including Antarctica. During the Mesozoic, Antarctica had a temperate climate and was connected to South America and Australia, allowing faunal interchange. This is why similar dinosaur types appear across southern continents. Isotopic studies of fossil teeth and bones suggest migration behavior. For example, Camarasaurus and Edmontosaurus likely undertook seasonal migrations to track food and water, similar to modern wildebeest or elephants. Cultural interpretations varied. Ancient Chinese believed fossilized bones were dragon remains. In Europe, they were attributed to biblical giants or mythical beasts until paleontology emerged as a science. Dinosaurs are not lizards. Birds are dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are not lizards. Though their name means terrible lizard, they belong to a completely different group of reptiles. Dinosaurs are archosaurs, a clade that also includes crocodilians and pterosaurs. Lizards, snakes, and tuataras fall under Lepidosauria, a distinct reptilian branch. Dinosaurs are split into two main orders. Saurischia, lizard-hipped, includes theropods, like T. rex and velociraptor, and sauropods, like Brachiosaurus. Ornithischia, bird-hipped, includes stegosaurs, hadrosaurs, and ceratopsians. Ironically, birds evolved from theropods, lizard-hipped dinosaurs, not from the ornithischians. All modern birds are technically living dinosaurs, descendants of small feathered theropods. Dinosaur sizes. The average weight of dinosaurs is estimated at 4,282 kilograms, approximately 9,440 pounds, though this is skewed by large species. The median weight, which gives a more accurate view of the typical dinosaur, was closer to 630 kilograms, approximately 1,389 pounds, roughly the size of a bison. The largest known dinosaur is Argentinosaurus, a titanosaur that may have reached over 100 feet in length and weighed up to 80 tons. The smallest confirmed dinosaur is the modern bee hummingbird, Melisuga helenaea, which weighs just under 2 grams. Among extinct species, Parvocursor and Microraptor were among the tiniest. Timeline gaps. Stegosaurus lived during the late Jurassic, about 150 million years ago. Tyrannosaurus rex appeared in the late Cretaceous, around 66 million years ago. That's an 84 million year gap, longer than the time between T. rex and modern humans. Spinosaurus lived roughly 100 million years ago, placing it far earlier than T. rex. In fact, the gap between them is longer than the entire existence of the human species. Melanosome analysis in preserved feathers has revealed coloration in some dinosaurs, Borealopelta, reddish brown. Sinosauropteryx had a banded tail. Anchiornis, black and white with a red crest. First and last dinosaurs. The oldest known dinosaur is Nyasasaurus parringtoni, dated at 243 million years ago. The last non-avian dinosaurs died out 66 million years ago during the KPG extinction. A triceratops horn discovered just below the KPG boundary may represent one of the last known non-avian dinosaurs. Marine reptiles like Mosasaurus and Pliosaurus are not dinosaurs. They are separate reptilian groups that lived in the ocean. Flying reptiles like pterosaurs are also not dinosaurs. Dimetrodon, a sail-backed predator, often mistaken for a dinosaur, is a synapside, not a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are defined as all species that descended from the last common ancestor of Triceratops and modern birds. This classification excludes creatures like pterosaurs, mosasaurs, and synapsides.
Modern crocodiles are archosaurs, like dinosaurs, but they are not dinosaurs. The ancestors of modern crocs didn't appear until about 46 million years ago, after the dinosaurs went extinct. Dinosaur migration. Fossilized trackways in North America and Asia show patterns suggesting seasonal migration. These trails stretch for hundreds of kilometers and maintain directional consistency, implying organized group movement. Isotope analysis of oxygen and strontium in fossilized teeth indicates that some dinosaurs, like Camarasaurus, migrated between lowland feeding grounds and upland nesting or breeding areas. Edmontosaurus, a large duck-billed dinosaur, likely migrated in massive herds, possibly covering over 1,000 kilometers annually. These migrations were likely driven by seasonal shifts in vegetation, rainfall, and temperature, much like the migration patterns of modern large herbivores such as caribou or wildebeest. Migratory behavior also implies social structure and memory. Dinosaurs may have returned to the same breeding grounds, forming life cycles similar to those of birds and mammals. Odds of fossilization Fossilization is extremely rare. Fewer than one in a billion organisms become fossils. Several strict conditions must align for fossilization. Rapid burial by sediment, ash, or mud. Low oxygen to slow decomposition. Presence of minerals that can infiltrate and replace organic tissues over time. Permineralization. Most fossils are partial. Teeth, fragments of bone, or isolated tracks. Full skeletons are exceedingly rare and often result from catastrophic events like floods, landslides, or volcanic ash falls. Fossils are not preserved bone. Over millions of years, bone is replaced with stone as minerals fill microscopic pores. The result is a detailed stone replica of the original structure. Paleontologists often use a quick test, licking the specimen. Real fossils are porous and slightly absorbent. They'll stick to your tongue due to capillary action, unlike smooth modern rock. Dinosaur Fossil Economics The most expensive dinosaur fossil ever sold is Apex, a nearly complete Stegosaurus, which auctioned for 44.6 million U.S. dollars. Other high-profile fossils include Stan, a T-Rex specimen, sold for $31.8 million in 2020. High-value fossils are usually nearly complete, scientifically significant, e.g., rare species, well-preserved with articulated bones. At the average global income, it would take over 4,500 years of work to afford one of these fossils, making them among the most valuable natural artifacts on Earth. Vocalization no fossilized vocal cords have ever been found, but indirect evidence suggests some dinosaurs could vocalize. Modern birds use a syrinx, a vocal organ located where the trachea splits into the lungs. Because birds evolved from theropod dinosaurs, it's possible some non-avian dinosaurs had similar sound-producing structures. Some theropods had hollow skull structures, or air sacs, in their respiratory systems, which could have served as resonating chambers for low-frequency sounds, like those used by elephants or cassowaries. The most studied case is Parasaurolophus. Its long, tube-like cranial crest has been modeled digitally and recreated in the lab. The resulting sound is a deep, resonant, foghorn-like tone, which may have been used for long-distance communication or mating calls fastest dinosaurs. Speed estimates in dinosaurs are calculated from limb proportions, hip structure, and fossilized trackways. Ornithomimus and Dromaeosaurus, ostrich-like theropods, are believed to have reached speeds of 40 to 50 kilometers per hour, 25 to 30 miles per hour. Their long legs, light skeletons, and forward-shifted center of gravity help them move efficiently. Hollow bones, a common trait in theropods, reduced weight without compromising strength. These bones had internal struts, similar to modern bird bones or aircraft wings. Speed adaptations are often found in bipedal predators. Large eyes, stiff tails for balance, and forward-facing hips further supported agile, fast movement. Smartest Dinosaurs Troodon, a small theropod from North America, had one of the highest known brain-to-body ratios among non-avian dinosaurs. 
its estimated EQ, encephalization quotient, was significantly higher than most reptiles. Troodon had large, forward-facing eyes, suggesting advanced vision and depth perception. Its brain structure indicated strong sensory processing and possibly even social behavior. Despite its intelligence relative to other dinosaurs, Troodon likely ranked below modern birds and mammals in absolute cognitive function. By contrast, giant sauropods had extremely small brains, some just the size of a tennis ball, even though they reached lengths of 80 to 100 feet. This disparity shows that intelligence was not a prerequisite for ecological dominance. Dinosaur Lifespan Dinosaur lifespans varied widely depending on size and metabolic rate. Large herbivorous dinosaurs like Apatosaurus or Camarasaurus likely lived 70 to 100 years. Their bones show tightly packed growth rings, similar to tree rings, indicating slow and steady development over decades. Small theropods like Velociraptor may have lived between 10 to 20 years, following patterns seen in modern birds and reptiles. Growth ring analysis in fossil bones, especially from long bones like femurs, reveals periods of rapid juvenile growth followed by slowed growth in adulthood. Some species showed seasonal growth slowdowns, possibly due to dry seasons or reduced food availability, suggesting environmental pressures shaped their development. Coloration Coloration in dinosaurs was once speculative, but fossilized melanosomes, pigment structures, have provided real evidence. Anchiornis, a small feathered theropod, had black and white wing feathers and a red crest. This has been reconstructed through scanning electron microscopy of fossil feathers. Cynoceropteryx had a reddish-brown body and a banded tail, likely for camouflage. Borealopelta, an armored nodosaur, had reddish-brown pigmentation and countershading, a darker back and lighter belly, used by modern prey animals to avoid predators. These color patterns indicate that dinosaurs used pigmentation for camouflage, display, thermoregulation, and possibly mating, just like modern birds and reptiles. Least Intelligent Dinosaurs Stegosaurus, despite its large body size, around 3 tons, had a brain weighing only approximately 70 grams, about the size of a walnut. The brain-to-body ratio in stegosaurs was among the lowest of all dinosaurs. Early theories suggested they had a second brain in their hips, but this has been debunked. The structure was likely an enlargement of the spinal cord. Intelligence was not essential for survival in large, slow-moving herbivores. Their primary defense was armor, tail spikes, and size. Sauropods also had minimal brain development relative to their body mass, relying instead on herd behavior and physical defenses. Reproduction all dinosaurs laid eggs and fossilized nests, embryos, and eggshells have been found across all continents. Egg sizes ranged widely. Some theropods laid small, elongated eggs, while titanosaurs laid spherical eggs as large as basketballs. Myasaura, good mother lizard, built communal nests and showed strong evidence of parental care. Hatchlings had underdeveloped bones, implying they remained in the nest and were fed by adults. Some species built mound-like nests and returned to the same nesting grounds annually, similar to modern sea turtles and birds. Eggshell microstructure analysis shows similarities to modern bird eggs, including gas exchange pores and layered calcite shells. Behavior and social structure. Fossil trackways often reveal parallel walking patterns, suggesting herd behavior in species like Hadrosaurus and Iguanodon. Bone beds with dozens or hundreds of individuals point to social herds that may have migrated together or perished in floods or droughts. Fossils with healed fractures and bite marks show evidence of intraspecies, combat, or predatory attacks. Allosaurus skulls with bite wounds suggest face biting as part of dominance rituals. Species with crests or horns, such as Pachycephalosaurus or Triceratops, may have used these features for display, combat, or species recognition. Hollow crests in hadrosaurs like Parasaurolophus likely served both as visual signals and sound resonators for long-range communication. Dinosaur Extinction Non-avian dinosaurs went extinct 66 million years ago during the Cretaceous-Paleogene (KPG) extinction event. 
The primary cause was a massive asteroid impact near present-day Chicxulub, Mexico, releasing energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. This impact triggered global wildfires, blocked sunlight with atmospheric dust, and caused rapid climate collapse. Volcanic activity in the Deccan Traps of India may have worsened the extinction by adding carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide to the atmosphere. An estimated 75% of all species on Earth died, including all non-avian dinosaurs. Timeline Overview Dinosaurs lived during the Mesozoic Era, which lasted from 252 to 66 million years ago. The Mesozoic is divided into a Triassic period, 252 to 201 million years ago. First dinosaurs appeared. Jurassic period, 201 to 145 million years ago. Sauropods and early birds evolved. Cretaceous period, 145 to 66 million years ago. Dinosaur peak and mass extinction. They thrived for over 180 million years, far longer than humans have existed. Despite the name, most dinosaurs in Jurassic Park are actually from the Cretaceous period, including Velociraptor and T-Rex, birds as living dinosaurs. Birds evolved from small feathered theropods like Microraptor and Archaeopteryx. Shared features include hollow bones, three-toed limbs, wishbones, furcula, feathers, and brooding behavior. Archaeopteryx had both avian feathers, wings, and dinosaurian traits teeth, bony tail, bridging the evolutionary gap. Today, more than 10,000 bird species are technically dinosaurs, part of the clade Avialae. Unlike other dinosaur groups, birds survive the K to PG extinction, likely due to small size, high reproductive rates, and ecological flexibility.